Toby Allen. Does anybody have his sleeve? With Ben Lee and Human oh, Nature it's Live. Fine. No, it's okay. It's not the first time you've opened for a boy group. Turn it on. <laughs> GW Nightlight, 8 30 Thursday. After a narrow win in today's $130,000 Cranbourne Cup. While fully qualified for the Caulfield Cup, Figurehead will need at least a one kilogram penalty to be guaranteed a start in the race. With the Caulfield Cup just 10 days away, today's Cranbourne Cup shaped as the last chance for several hopefuls to make the field. The promising ultra smug needed nothing less than a win to qualify for Caulfield, while Colin Alderson's ancient city and four to one favourite figurehead needed the benefit of a penalty from the handicapper to improve their bids to sneak into the field. Idiati and here's light work coming and Super Crest is still there. Figurehead is squeezing up. Idiati on the outside. They go to the lead together. Figurehead and Idiati. Idiati and Figurehead. They hit the line. Figurehead one of the nose to Idiati. Light work third. Ultra smug flashing home for fourth. The four-year-old Gelding who finished runner-up in the Queensland Derby earlier this year masterfully ridden by Nashra Willa to claim the narrow win. Trained by Kay Lane, Figurehead has 50 kilograms in the Caulfield Cup, but is likely to receive a penalty of at least one kilo tomorrow, allowing him to climb into the 18-horse field. The unlucky runner was Ultra Smug, who rattled home for fourth. Jared Waitley, 10 News. Has won the first of the Cups for the spring, the Cranbourne Cup. In a neck-and-neck -neck finish to the uh, fight to the finish, uh, Figurehead stamped himself as a genuine contender for the bigger races. Punters flocked to Cranbourne for today's meeting, and while not all walked away winners, the cup finish was one to remember. They go to the lead together, figurehead and Idiati. Idiati and figurehead, they hit the line. Figurehead one of the nose to Idiati. Trained by Kay Lane and ridden by Nash Rawilla, figurehead just got home from Idiati and light work. Figurehead will now be set for the Caulfield Cup on Saturday week. Shane Dye is likely to replace Rawilla because of weight. And recognition last night for veteran trainer Jim Houlihan. The 86-year-old won the Fred Hoisted Award for training excellence. I'm really stuck for words here tonight. I, I never dreamt I could win a thing like this. Regarded as Australia's premier jumps trainer, Houlihan defeated Peter Hayes by just one vote, with Rick Hall Lacey making up the placings. He had the choice of either in a flurry or arena and has opted to ride last year's Victoria Derby winner. Gouchy admits in a flurry's inability to settle on Saturday swayed his decision. The last two runs he's just over raced a little bit and it's caused me some concern and also the connections and, and the trainer. And look, if she goes into the race and she settles, uh, she's only got 51 and a half, I think she will stay to 2400 and she'll be hard to beat. But there is a question mark over whether she'll settle over that distance. Gouchy has ridden in a flurry for two weight for age victories this season, but the Nair pulled badly when third in the Turnbull Stakes.